I'm off today. So I've been sitting here thinking like, okay, well, I still want to upload a video, so what am I going to talk about? And I just keep going back to, I finished The Secret, if anybody is wondering. Uh, it's really, really great. And one of the suggestions in the book was that um, every day, or maybe not every day, maybe it said, it may have said just like if you're having a bad day or if like whenever you need to or whatever, you can grab the book and open it to a random page and like make that like your meditation of the day. Uh, so I decided to take it upon myself to do that every day. So I did it today. And first of all, I have been seeing it the number four everywhere is anybody and when I looked at the camera it was 48 seconds which is like four and then you know, do, you, do you see what I'm saying here okay so if you're into like numerology <laughs> sorry you guys I'm like I'm in a, I've been in a good mood recently okay so here's one of the things like with the book the secret I like told myself I'm sorry if the camera angle is not the best um you know what it's it's fine I think it's fine um you, you can see a couple things in the camera but I think you're gonna live you know what I mean? Anyway. Uh, so, I've been seeing the number four a lot. So, if you're into, like, numerology and stuff, like, you know, like, I like number four. I think it's a good number for me. Sorry, I can pick up the camera. I don't really know. Um, let me see. I swear I looked better yesterday. I don't think I did anything different. Did I? Oh, you know what I think part of it is? Is, like, my heat's on. So, I think it makes the pop socket thing slip down a little bit. Anyway, so, uh, like I said, I've been seeing the number four anyway. So, I opened my book today, and to page four, which, like, really blew me away, because I really did think that I would be, like, in the middle of the book. I don't know why I thought, like, I would open to the middle of the book, but I opened to page four. So, anyway, that was kind of crazy. Um, and it was just talking about, like, the law of attraction and I, I wrote it down, but I'm driving, so uh, I can show you when I get to Starbucks. I'll show it to you when I get to Starbucks. So I'm going to start doing that, um, but I thought that was really crazy that I opened page four, so I just thought I would share that. So anyway, now I'm reading that You Are a Badass book. I really like it, actually. Um, it's pretty much the same vibe as The Secret, like same thing, but... Uh, I really like her writing style. She just, like, talks, like, really, like, real. I like that. I, I feel like we know that by now. I like people that are just real. Like, uh, even as far as, like, YouTube videos and stuff I watch, I really like the, like, unedited ones where people are just, like, themselves. You know, that's what I really like. So, that's why I do my channel the way I do. <laughs> and it's easier not to edit, for being honest. I never claim to be a video editor. I'm a dog groomer. And I do what I can. I can... I could do a little editing. I could do more. I could teach myself if I really wanted to, but it's not something that I care to put a lot of energy into. Maybe one day I'll care a little bit more, but that day is not today, so just don't edit. But like I said, I like it. I think it's more authentic, and I like videos that aren't super edited. I like videos that are edited too, but I have to be in the right mood. When I'm coming to YouTube to just like watch a video, I like when people just like get on camera and just talk because I feel like I'm like hanging out with them. Have my sunroof open, uh, open, open, and uh, I know it makes noise. Like I can hear it whenever I play back my videos. But we have had so much rain for such a long time that having sunshine for this many days in a row and it's just beautiful, you guys. It's 58 degrees. It's supposed to get up to 70 today. Oh my gosh! I, it has been kind of difficult to know how to dress because it'll be like 30, 40 degrees in the morning, and then like in the afternoon it's like hot. But anyway, it's just been so beautiful. But the reason that I got on here to talk was I just like really wanted to talk about um, just like feeling inspired and like being in a good mood and uh, getting out of your comfort zone. Okay, so YouTube videos are something that I've been wanting to do for so long. I think I touched on this in my last video, but I like since I was like in high school when they first started becoming a thing I really wanted to do YouTube videos but I was always really scared about like negative comments and stuff and I don't know I just like recently had this realization of like who cares and I've had like inspiration from like other groomers and like friends and stuff like that and I just like finally am like you know 
know what, I'm doing this and I'm going to go for it. Like, I'm going to actually, like, put my whole heart into it and I'm not, because I've done it a couple times, like, I've uploaded a couple of videos and then got insecure about it and just deleted them all and in a way I'm glad I did that because the original videos I uploaded, I kind of touched on this yesterday, the original videos were all, like, you know, I liked story time kind of stuff and I, I actually... That video yesterday I uploaded is doing pretty good, so it seems like you guys kind of like the story times, and I'm going to do that. I was actually going to tell the story today about the lady I worked with for three days, but that's such a, like, I feel like that's like a negative video, and I'm not really in a negative vibe today, and I, I don't want to bring myself down to that level to talk about that lady, um, but I do feel the need to talk about it because it's something I feel a little embarrassed about that I worked somewhere for three days because that's not the type of person I am. But I had my reasoning and you guys, I will eventually tell that story. But like I said, I feel like it's a more negative story so I don't want to go there today. But, um, okay, let me show you the book while we're stopped at the stop sign real quick. There's somebody behind me. This is the book I'm reading, The You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. And like I said, it's pretty much the same as The Secret, like the same kind of vibe, but she just like writes like more realistically, like just like how she'd be talking to you like if you were hanging out as friends. And I really like that. It's kind of like more girly, like, um, I mean, not saying that guys wouldn't like it, but I, I do feel like it's more like you know, girlfriends hanging out. That's how I feel when I'm reading it, which I particularly really like. But if you're not into that, you may not like this book. I don't know. I feel like it's a really good one. And actually, this girl I went to high school with, um, she was one of the ones that I, I saw it multiple places, but her posting it for some reason, I was like, all right, I'm getting this book. And uh, she actually messaged me. It was so funny. She messaged me and was like, oh, I'm about to read that book again. So just to tell you like how good it is, and I think it is really good. Um, it's just like, it, it basically, if, if you read the, uh, the introduction, she talks about like basically how she has read like pretty much every self-help book that's, uh, that's come out on the market. And, uh, she's really dug deep into it and she just took all that information and put it all in this one book. And I'm breezing through it. I started it last night. Uh, I think when I recorded my last video, I was still reading The Secret. I think I finished the secret maybe around like six, seven o'clock last night. And I started on this one and I'm almost a hundred pages in. It's been a really easy read. She has another book that she came out with. And I think it's maybe called you're a badass at making money. I know it's green. I think I'm going to get that one next. I grabbed a couple more books last night. Um, I went to second and Charles. Oh, and I, we actually went to books a million as well. Um, we were just like in a really good mood yesterday because we got that really good deal. When I say we, I mean me and my boyfriend. We um, got that really good deal. We got that Super Nintendo and the regular Nintendo and uh, Nintendo 64 and all that. I didn't even say in my video, my boyfriend literally got all that for $35. It was like a guy, I guess, that was just like cleaning out his house. He didn't realize how much value. Oh, well, my boyfriend, he gave him 40. The guy asked for $35 and my boyfriend just like take 40, like at least, you know, and it's like, um, anyway, such a good deal. And we were just in a good vibe. So we decided that we were going to go to Books A Million and we ended up going to Second and Charles. Love Second and Charles. I love Books A Million too, but Second and Charles just has such good deals. I got that at Books A Million, I got The Hate You Give, that book. Peter Mon recommended it. Um, I think it was in like some of his top books. So I got that. Um, and I kind of started into it a little bit in the car, but I can't read very well. Like I can read fine when I'm in the car, but I get nauseous when I read in the car. I don't know why, but I always have. So anyway, that doesn't feel so good. Um, but I kind of started on that one. And then I also got the magic, which is like another branch of the book, the secret. I might start on that one a little bit later too. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to start on it while I'm reading this You're a Badass book or You Are a Badass book. I, I, I've gone through this one so quick that I might just finish it before I get into The Secret. But I was thinking, or not The Secret, The Magic. I was thinking maybe The Magic might be another one for the daily meditations. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I was pretty excited on that meditation this morning that like because it suggested you know just open it to a random page and see what you get kind of thing 
and the fact that it brought me to page four when I've been seeing the number four everywhere was just so wild to me. Like, I was really freaking out a little bit. Okay, come on, car. This car is like waiting on me, like, oh, girl, you know what? I'm trying to be a safe driver, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, this has kind of just turned into a ramble. Um, and then there's no line at Starbucks, so I don't, I'm not gonna be able to show you my notes. <laughs> I thought for sure there would be like a big old line at Starbucks. I was like, oh, I'll just tell what the, um, what I wrote down. I, I believe it was just like talking about the law of attraction. It was like, cause that's the secret. If you didn't know, the secret is the law of attraction and bringing good things into your life and staying on a positive wavelength. That's kind of why I don't really want to dive into, uh, you know, that negative story right now. I'm trying to stay in positive vibes, but anyway, I'm going to end this here and just call it ramble vlog for now, but I may add to it later. Okay, I wanted to come back on because I forgot to say what I got at Second and Charles last night. So, first thing I got at Second and Charles was The Girl on the Train book. I've heard so many good things about that book, so I really wanted to read something like, so I've been reading a lot of self-help stuff, so I really wanted to leave, read something fun as well. So I got that book, and I also got, oh my god, I can't remember the name of this book now. It's like, okay, it's something about Savannah, Georgia, right? It's like a big book that's like famous for like taking place in Savannah, Georgia. Um, it's something about like ghosts or something, or maybe it's not about ghosts. No, I think it's like a murder mystery. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I've been seeing it everywhere, and now I can't remember the name of it, but I can just picture it. It's like got a statue on the front of it. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. I'll come back on it, um, probably in a different video and, uh, show you the book once I start reading that one. But that was another one that I thought might be kind of a fun read. So anyway, I got those as well. I didn't even say that. Um, oh, and this is really exciting. So I, I think I've kind of touched on this, that I'm like in the process of buying a house. I'm looking for a house right now. I'm looking for like my perfect house. I just, I know it's out there. I'm going to find it, right? I'm putting that out in the universe. I know, I know I have a picture in my head of what I want my house to look like. So anyway, I bought some clear quartz crystal wind chimes for my back porch because I'm going to have like a little hangout area for like me and my dogs. Like I want to have like, you know, like a deck area or somewhere that I can have like maybe like a hammock or something like to sit on um, so I can relax outside and read books with my dogs because that's like my favorite thing on days like today where it's just like absolutely beautiful and just like so nice outside. I love to just sit outside and like watch my dogs run around and like read a book or listen to some music or something. That's like my happy place. So anyway, I got these like clear quartz wind chimes that I can hang up in my little area. So I'm so excited. Um, and if you're like a uh, girl, you don't have that house yet. It's coming. I know it is. And if you've read the book, The Secret, you're like, yes, girl. I'm just preparing because I know it's coming. Like I said, I'm looking for a house. Like this is like legitimately happening. So anyway, I don't need to explain myself to anybody. I'm just telling you what I got at Second and Charles. I was really excited about those wind chimes because it's like the first official thing I've bought for my house. Uh, and in the book, The Secret, it talks about like how you want to like prepare for the things that you want in life. And like, I know what I want out of my house. I know it's on the way. So I was like, you know what? I want to prepare for it. And I want to have decorations for my house. And like, that's something I found it in the clearance at Second and Charles. And I was like, heck yeah, I want some clear quartz wind chimes. They're really cute. And I think it'll look really nice on my porch for my little hangout area. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, but I, I didn't even say, like, what I got at Second and Charles. And then, I'm trying to think. My boyfriend got a couple things, too. Oh, we got some bookmarks. I think he got a book. I think he got a book about a uh, band. Hmm. He, I can picture the book, but I can't remember what the band is. And I feel a little bit bad, but I also couldn't remember the name of my own book. So, it's not like, you know, I just didn't care because it was his book. I just Apparently, my brain didn't feel the need to retain that one, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Anyway, I am coming over. My boyfriend's been doing some work over at his grandpa's house, so I just came over here to hang out with him. Just pulled it in. Okay, I guess I'm just going to park behind him. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, anyway, I'm here. So, I'm going to go. Well, let's, let's do this. Oops. Turn my pin. There it is. You got it. 
I know somebody's wondering about my tattoo. It's it's Batman. Anyway, I'll, I'll do a tattoo video one day if anybody cares. Let me know. Do you want to know about my tattoos? Do you care? Um, I care. I like my tattoos. I think they're great. Oh, there's some fucking weird guy looking in my car. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm recording a video, but I was finishing it. I did a meditation today. I was like, there's some fucking weird guy looking in my car. Somebody's like, oh my god, I'm calling the cops. <laughs> it's my boyfriend. But anyway, the, yeah, so the meditation I did today was the, um, it was like the beginning of the book, so it's talking about the secret being the, okay, he's leaving, the secret being the law of attraction, and it's the most powerful law in the universe, and every thought of yours is a real thing, it's force. Anyway, my boyfriend's laughing at me, so I'm gonna go, but thank you guys so much for watching, I'm gonna go read some more of this book, and if you wanna know more about this book, let me know, because I really like it, I suggest it. Uh, it was $16, I believe. Yeah, because it's a new book, so I think it's like $16 anywhere you go right now. Um, you might be able to find it cheaper somewhere. You could look around. I don't know. $16 is what I paid for it. Anyway, I can link it down below on my Amazon affiliate thing. I make a little money off that, so that's kind of cool. If you go and click on that link and go buy the book off that link, I make a little money. I don't know if anybody's done it yet, but anyway, I think it's kind of cool. Anyway, you guys have a good Sunday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.